What's going on, Bully fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Nine Bulls, bringing you another quick episode of Breeders Hacks. So, what we got today, guys, um, I gotta feed the puppies. Um, they're a little bit older now. Around, you know, the three week mark is when you're gonna wanna start introducing them, you know, mush, food, things like that. Actually, let me grab this out of the fridge so I can show you guys. Um, where is this? Okay. So, you have two options when it comes to um, weaning puppies off of their mother and um, getting them onto, you know, regular foods, getting them to solids. So you have two options. Um, there's raw, which is, you know, you're giving them raw um, meat, which can be like, you know, your beefs, um, things like that. You know, you can go to the butcher and they can grind it up for you. You know, people that are familiar with raw diet, that's what you can give them. Um, I've seen in certain instances, some people even just do like regular um, ground up chopped meat. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you have puppies that are picky eaters, I'll put them on this. Um, and then the other option is giving them mush, which is, you know, kibble. So with these guys, um, we had started them on the raw and then we put them more so on the kibble. Um, for me personally, like I said, I like to put them on the mush. Um, if they're picky eaters and they don't want to eat the mush, then I'll put them on raw. You know, um, I prefer, like I said, mush, but you know, everybody has their preferences. Um, like I said, um, yeah, that's the only time. I mean, I'll really have them on that is, uh, is, um, when I want to get them to start transitioning and they're being picky with the kibble, then I'll give them the ground beef, um, the, uh, the raw. Um, otherwise I'm not really, uh, crazy about the raw anymore. I used to use it a lot. Not, not so much anymore. Anyway, so, um, this is the raw option. Like I said, all you would do is just let this throw out, go ahead and, and the key thing that you'll need when weaning puppies from, you know, um, their mothers or milk to, you know, more solids is you'll want a bowl like this so that they can all evenly eat. Cause if you just do one big open bowl, the problem is, is that, um, they're going to wind up, it just gets crazy. Um, the competition, they'll wind up stepping in it, things like that. This is a lot easier to have. So a bowl like this, you can get this at Petco, PetSmart, things like that. So anyway, let me just put this in the fridge because we're not using this. But you could use the roll if you wanted. So here's what I've used to make my puppy mush. Um, I just have a, a, a Nutra bullet that's strictly for the dogs, for the puppies. And as you can see, I filled it up with some kibble, right? Some some puppy kibble. Um, that's what you want to use, like puppy kibble. And then what I'll do is I'll take either goat's milk, which this can wind up starting. This can be expensive, especially if you're consistently giving it to them. But um, you can use goat's milk or you can just use like, I'm old fashioned and this is what I always used and this is what I was taught to use. When it comes to giving them milk replacer, you know, like um, when transitioning them, we use this so we just put in and i just eyeball it i don't have an exact equation to be honest but i just fill up my little nutri bullet cup with kibble and then i'll put like half of a cup in here maybe a little less than that and then what i just do is go ahead and put the top on and now tighten this up and like i said this is just this is just theirs you know and it's going to easily now quickly blend it all up together i don't put no liquids no nothing in it just the kibble and just the powder and that's why like i also prefer this because of the convenience and how how, how easy it is so i'm going to show you i'm just going to blend it up right now it only really takes a few seconds i'll go ahead and Make sure it's all broken up and I'll maybe, maybe spin it one more time. And as you can see, it's cycling like through, you know, and blending the milk with, with the dog puppy, with the puppy pow, uh, food into a powder. So now that is done, we go ahead and open up the top. And as you can see, and I bought this, honestly, like if you guys were to do something like this, I would buy a Nutribullet used. Who cares? You know, it's for your puppies. Like, you know, it doesn't matter if people used it or not. Um, so I would get one of these. You probably buy it on a let go or something like that for like, I don't know, 20 to 50 bucks. So anyway, it just makes your life so much easier than using your home blender, things like that. And look, we got the milk 
and the puppy uh, puppy I keep saying puppy powder uh, puppy kibble into a, a powder so now all that I do is I go ahead and sprinkle that in here let's see and that's about enough so now what I'll do is get you some warm water I got some right here and what you can do is just pour it I don't know if you can see but just pour it around and now you'll see, you know, you have most of the liquid on top. And what's nice, it keeps keeps our mixture bowl nice and dry. We can use this the rest for later. You know, the cleanup is a lot easier because it's it's, it's a powder, you know. So uh, now I'm just gonna take a spoon and just really just mix it, you know. And you're gonna see, you know, the 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 mixture of the formula, the milk the milk replacer, and the puppy um, food is just gonna absorb all that water. You know, like I said, I like to use like a little bit of warm water you know, and uh, it makes it into like a mush. And now this is what you call puppy mush. So I can't really give you an exact um, formula as to how much water per puppy powder um, I use, but long story short, it, I just eyeball it, you know? So what's so convenient about this compared to raw is that if you got puppies who are a little constipated, things like that, you can add more water to make it a little bit more soupy, you know, which is, it will be easier for them, you know? So, I mean, this is kind of good enough for, this is actually a little bit more mushed up than it needs to be for these guys at their age, but this is fine. They'll still eat it up. You know, um, it's a good amount. And actually what I'm going to do is add a little extra. Not to mention um, that I also add is I'll add just a little bit of Nutri-Cal. Um, it's great to add for puppies. I mean, it has like your omegas, three, six, and nines, uh, you know, vitamins, minerals, things like that. So I'll just add that in as just some like extra nutrients. You know, I don't go super crazy with it, but... I'll just add like a nice heaping full amount because remember it's going to uh, like four puppies right now. So that's about it. And yet again, I eyeball it. I don't, I don't do nothing too crazy. Um, and I just make sure, like I said, I make sure the paste, the paste should be enough that it's not too hard for the puppies to, you know, chew on and things like that. Cause they're just learning, you know, then I just go ahead and add the nutri in for the added amount of nutrients. And then I just mix it around, you know? And as you can see, it's become a mush. Yet again, um, with liquid, you can make it as, you know, um, soupy as you need it. Or in reality, I mean, if you, you can add more, because I have extra, I could add more and make it more, you know, harder if I wanted or whatever the case may be. But this is about the consistency that we want right now. You know, like I said, um, I'm just mixing in the nutri -Cow and we're done, you know, and the cleanup is super easy. You go ahead and put this top back on. I'll use the rest later. You know, put the Nutri-Cal over here, close the bag up, and they'll be good till I'm ready to feed them again. But this is pretty much how to, this is the recipe that we use to make our own puppy mush, guys. So, you know, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so now let's go ahead and we're gonna run this out to the puppies real quick. So we got our mush ready, guys, and these guys absolutely love it. With the additional Nutri-Cal, it actually gives like a really good taste to it. So watch, these guys are just gonna devour this up. And what I do also when I start feeding them at this age, what I start doing is um, I start whistling. I start, you know, calling them. So they associate, you know, when I make that sound to come, you know, and just starting off with some light training because, I mean, they're only, you know, weeks old. But as you can see by right now, these guys, you know, and, and you could zoom in on them. Um, they're, I mean, they are going to, they, they're devouring this food. So all you have to do you know is um every so often you know like i said like for, for me for example i like for my puppies to always have food um and this sep having this type of bowl allows everybody to eat at the same time you know because doing a bowl like a regular sized bowl it just doesn't work out when you have a bunch of puppies you know they're all going to be in competition for the food um try to ho hog space things like that having that indent in the middle makes a big difference and the only other thing i could say too is like i said guys um it will harden up so, I mean, if you have the bowl just sitting out, what you can do is periodically add water to it, you know, and mix it around so that they can keep coming back for food or however you guys like to do it. Like I said, for me, I like for my dogs to always have access to food and water, um, especially puppies, you know, so that's just me. All right. So, yeah, guys, like I was saying, you know, um, these guys, they're going to just devour the food. They love it. That Nutri-Cal gives a really nice extra, um, you know, taste as well as uh, vitamins and minerals. And having that indent in the bowl prevents the puppies like from like one puppy just standing in the middle and hogging everything and stuff like that, you know? So um, it's definitely, you know, essential and key having that kind of bowl, 
and that's just how we do it here you know so all right guys so i hope this information was helpful and um if you got any questions any comments definitely you know leave them at the bottom of this video and um you know like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next episode of breeders hacks